Now, Esper also targeted Chinese tech giant Huawei in his speech, warning it posed a threat to NATO if it was allowed to build a new 5G communications network. For more on this, Greg Evans is the pres president of National Cybersecurity Ventures. He joins us now live from Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you so much for coming uh, on the program. Uh, it seems U.S. has Huawei in its sights with the rollout of 5G technology. Are they right to be concerned? Yes, they are. I don't always agree with all the American um, propaganda that gets leaked out about China, but I do agree that China is a clear and present danger to the United States as well as the Western world. What they're trying to do is they can they found it harder to infiltrate um, the United States by stealing government secrets and intellectual property from some of our corporations. So what they decided to do was is to go to some of our NATO countries like the UK and infiltrate them by building the 5G network where they can intercept, you know, our conversations, our intelligence, um, even corporations and ordinary people on vacation there and listening to their conversations and text messages. Now, the U.S. charged four Chinese military officers recently over the huge cyber attack on credit rating giant Equifax. Uh, and U.S. Attorney General William Barr called the hack one of the largest data breaches in history. Just remind us of how big of a cyber attack this was and how did it affect the U.S.? Okay, well, this is one of those things that I do have a problem with with the United States. Every time there's a major hack here in the United States, they blame it on China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea, as if there's no other hackers in the entire world that could pull that job off. And they always blame it on countries that they know for a fact they'll never be in arrest. Yes, Equifax was one of the largest attacks on the United States in history. But after all of these years, they still have not, they won't arrest anyone, just like they knew they weren't going to arrest anyone on the Russian attack. But we still have it after almost 10 years, figured out who hacked Target and Home Depot, which was the largest financial hack in the United States. So did China do it? I'm skeptic on that. And that's one of those things that I do believe there has to be more information brought out. Now, Greg, just give us some insight into how dangerous this cyber attack that took place in 2017 is? Well, it was dangerous because it leaked out so much information about all the people who live here in the United States, our names, our date of births, our addresses, our social security number, our credit history, anything you wanted to know. Now, if you take all of this information and you put it all into one database, which we all know right now, China has the largest um, artificial intelligence database in the world, and you take that data breach and you add it in, now they have more information about the American people, what we think, what we buy, what we drive, where we live, our demographics, where most African Americans live, where most Jewish people live, how much people pay for their homes on average. It's, it, 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 it gives a lot of information to whoever hacked into and stole that information from Equifax. All right, Greg, thank you so much for that insight. That's Greg Evans joining us from Atlanta, Georgia.